Welcome back to Scotland. It is cup time. It's the second round, which is where we enter, and we have drawn a non-league side. So really hopeful of going through, especially as we are still looking like a half decent team ourselves. <laughs> Okay, as you can see here, we are home against the University of Stirling, so a bunch of students, which for those of you who know what I do for a living, I really want to win this one. Um, now, <clears throat> let's go back to how we've been doing after the Montrose disappointment. Uh, beat East Fife, really good performance, a um, couple of quick goals somewhere around the hour mark. Before that, we were just dominating but couldn't score Spartans no worries about not scoring started with an own guard three minutes and just pummeled them uh, scored three goals in five minutes in the second half six nil win fantastic uh, that was a friendly because we had a two-week gap and I wanted to keep match sharpness up and obviously a bit of um, uh, club atmosphere help Oh, Stramra, this was very disappointing. We did not play well. I, I can't say they weren't worth the win. Um, but five minutes from time and conceding the goal we conceded. I mean, basically, Dylan Forrest was stood alone in our six-yard box for a good three seconds before he got the ball. I don't know why nobody spotted him, but apparently they didn't. Um, it was an awful goal to concede, but like I say couldn't exactly say that they didn't earn it uh, since then we scored three early goals against Peterhead and then basically switched off for the second half which was fun to watch um, and this one this one I am really pleased with not the fact we conceded two goals against Allen Athletic at home that's not really acceptable the fact that we went down twice but came back to actually win it is the first time really I think that we've ever actually gone behind and come back to win um, and it shows a bit more of the fortitude that this side has got this season that it hasn't had before so hopefully things are going quite well there now we are third in the league Montrose have finally lost a game um, and against Stramra so losing to Stramra and Montrose not exactly embarrassing for us. They are the two best sides in the division according to the first 10 matches. And everyone has played each other. So, you know, this is based on a reasonable sample size. Uh, and obviously Dumbarton and Anna Athletic were the other two that we have dropped points against. So we need to get a bit better against the slightly better sides. Although Anna are some way off of um, fourth place. They're, they're eight points back. So they're not good. Which is also why it was so annoying we were losing to him. Um, but, yeah, there seems to be sort of like a definitive top four. Unfortunately, we are part of that top four. However, we can put that on hold for today because it's the cup. Uh, I have tweaked the tactic a little bit. We do now actually have three separate tactics. Um, one sort of like all out attack, one very defensive and one kind of standard one. Um, we will be starting with the all-out attack one. As you can also see, probably those of you who may have noticed, yet again I have changed the skin. Now, this does do something that I am trying very hard not to use because obviously, as you know, it still gives me, because I've done the thing with what colour the numbers are and whether they show up or not, um, it still gives me the green or red. What it does give me, annoyingly, and I can't get rid of it on this one. I could go back to the other one, but I quite like this one at the moment. Is this current ability number here, which is normally hidden behind the scenes. You don't see that. I'm trying to ignore it as best I can. Um, and I'm still trying to base it off of how much red, how much green, how do they compare with players I've already got, other players I'm looking at, that sort of thing. Um, so basically the things the game would tell me anyway so yeah it's it's a minor little niggle with this 
uh, thing. But I quite like I quite like the font. I think it's, it's like looks like Times New Roman to me. And I kind of like the the layout of it. And also on the loading screen when you actually get to the game loaded up, it's got a lovely Christmas scene at the moment. So you know, win win. Anyway. We've made a few changes to give people some playing time. The defence is not really our starting defence. Josh Skelly is up front. Quantrell is in, partly because I need to give him match time, and also partly because Lubala, frankly, has been annoying me lately. He has not been playing well. One person who has, and is definitely still in, is Tom Blackwell. He has been superb since we signed him. Uh, now, hopefully, our lack of match sharpness is not going to cost us dear. But we have got, as you can see, most of the sort of top boys on the bench. Henderson, Lubala, technically. Farrell, McCall, Morrison. Uh, talking of Morrison, that's just reminded me. Uh, Dynamics-wise, there are now seven players who actually support me, including Morrison, my skipper. So we are working them round. Uh, right. Okay, go out there and impress me. Skelly, trust you to make a difference. Midfield, faith in you. <clears throat> and <laughs> uh, now I'm trying to remember how it was phrased because there was a message that came up saying about, you know, sort of how good my support was with, with the squad. And I think it was, it was something like because of my personable nature. And you've seen me. I do not have a personable nature when they're playing at all. Um, okay, you may struggle um, to actually see much in this game because there seems to be some sort of bug in the game where unless it's a league match you can't really see the ball. And I don't know what it is, I don't know what they've done to the ball colour, but good luck following where the ball is. Basically, look for where people's names are. Blackwell, oh, the boy is just so good. I mean, he's supposed to be League One quality, so he is well in excess of what we should be putting out there on the pitch. But he is playing like it. We've got others who are supposed to be that good who aren't really playing like it. Nice cross from Pit Blado. <clears throat> and that is the sort of start we wanted, really. You'd probably be hoping there aren't many highlights in this because you're not going to see them particularly well. Because I am struggling to see that ball. And yeah, you really do have to sort of like look for where people's names are coming up above their heads to see where the ball's actually going. I mean, no one knows whether that was close. Absolutely no one. Right. <clears throat> if I could have sworn we tell you to play it to the centre backs or the full backs. Why are you kicking it long? Okay, this more. The Callum Moore has become quite more quite useful. He's he's sort of got himself into the side recently. Um, to the detriment of Finn Robson, unfortunately, who was also playing well. Oh, Pit Blado nearly falling over his own feet. Oh, see, well done, Moore. Inglis. That's where his lack of physical capability comes to the fore, where he couldn't burst away. Okay. Oh, you've got to get that. <clears throat> okay. Apparently it was blocked. This is going to be very difficult for you to watch. I'm st I, I can only apologise. This may mean we won't see much more of the cup this season. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember it being the problem in the League Cup, though. Hey, Andrew Miller. First goal of the season. Is that... I was going to say, that's his first goal for the club. Um, so, yeah. Good stuff. Well done, Miller. 2 0. And trust me, it went in. You can you can just about see. The trouble is it sort of looks blacky grey, sort of it's a dark grey and it just doesn't show up well. Um, and I don't know why it's like that. And I would have thought other people would have complained about it unless they're not playing in competitions like this where it just doesn't do this. I'm presuming in things like the Champions League and Premier League and all the big leagues that most people seem to probably play in, yeah, they, they don't have these problems and no one's told them about it. But <clears throat> And of course, for, for people like me who are very particular about how their friendlies are run, 
Uh, <coughs> oh, Matty Allen. Um, as it says a scorcher from distance. You'll have to take my word for it. I mean, to be fair, I think the keeper should have done better. Let's have a look and see if we can... Let's try and follow the ball, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. I mean, maybe he was a little unsighted, possibly, but I would be disappointed with my goalkeeper for letting that in. Put it that way. But that's just my personable nature coming to the fore again, I should imagine. Right. Oh. Inglis nips in. Blackwell. Moore. Oh, Moore fires it home. He scored his first goal of the season as well. His first ever four-fire goal. I'm pretty sure he was here last season as well, so I don't think I used him much last season, though. We'll keep the replays. Oh, again. But, but a Maltese goalkeeper, because that's a Maltese-looking surname. Of course, could be any sort of exchange student, couldn't it, for all we know. <laughs> right, Quantrell. Okay. Okay, it's gone wide for a corner. <clears throat> I will try and commentate a little bit more on this, so you, because I stand a better chance of seeing what's going on and telling you than you probably just stand of actually tracking the ball. Miller flicks it over. Not the greatest of headers. We have dominated the game. <clears throat> uh, Blackwell playing superbly again. Moore playing brilliantly. I mean, he has scored. To be fair, both of them have scored, but both of them have been playing well. Again, with the not. Playing it to there. <clears throat> hmm. All right, sorry about that. I had a sneeze, which I had to edit out. So, <laughs> Skelly! Josh Skelly. <clears throat> he does tend to do fairly well when he comes in. I've <clears throat> I said in the last episode about the whole thing with the, the trialists. Um, obviously, I am limited to only two in the squad at any given time. And... I found out also you can't play a trialist more than three times um, because presumably they obviously don't want people just exploiting trials and never actually signing anyone. But um, but we have got some decent use out of it, and of course it does give you a good chance of getting to see you know sort of how good they might be. Oh hello, Vonk. Fires wide. <coughs> Brilliantly up until the finish, which arguably is the most important bit, let's face it. You can do absolutely nothing, but if you can finish, you're going to score, aren't you? <clears throat> right. Well, 5-0 at half-time. This should be a nice confidence boost. Um, okay. Happy so far. Start the second half. <clears throat> it's 4 far. Kick off. Kicking from left to right. Robson brings it forward. Moore plays it through towards Skelly. He's not going to reach that, though. <clears throat> Applauds the pass. Not entirely sure why. Shouldn't be encouraging that sort of thing, really. Uh, Moore playing a 9.7, apparently, at the moment. Piplado. No, leaves it. Miller. Goes to get it. Piplado now. Plays it forwards. Nowhere near Quantrell. Right. This is Sterling. Attacking. Just that's it. Stand him up. <clears throat> uh, no, that's not ideal, Alan. McCallum tips it over. Um, yeah, so... I began saying, I think, a while ago about a tactical tweak. Um, what we try and do is basically funnel people into the middle because it became evident, um, and I am going to demand more from you boys because you basically have stopped playing because we're 5-0 up, and it's not acceptable. Um, yeah, it became evident that virtually every goal we were conceding was coming from across out wide and they were just crossing it and we were getting beaten in the air so my plan is to not let people get out wide basically push them into the middle where we can try and sort of like you know get numbers in front of them and stop them rather than letting them swing crosses in against 
certainly fullbacks who are going to get beaten in the air because I, we're just not good in the air. Blackwell, no. Moore gets it to English on the edge of the box, fires over. Not quite sure why he was shooting from there. Probably shouldn't have done. Okay. Away. Oh, it's Cannon back off the bar. Take my word for it. Oh, ooh, McCallum came and didn't get there. Mac an inch, whatever that is. Well, oh, hello. Oh, McCallum has taken a knock. No, aye, aye. Uh, right, we don't know what we're going to do. We can give Zach Paris some, some game time. Um, Inglis has not been at his best. Let's let's give Farrell a run out. Um, I'm actually going to put Libala on, but I'm going to put him on on the. Actually, no. I'm going to swap him and Contrell over. I just want to rest. Um, Blackwell. I mean, he's he's done enough. A goal and two assists. I think he's had a a decent day. He's put in a good shift. Um, everyone else, I think I will let get the match sharpness um, from this game. So, okay, we're going to close it down at all, boys. Oh, nearly nicked in there. Moore brings it down. Oh, unlucky. Nearly got past him, but then hustles back to win it. Tries to play it over the top, but not quite successful. One of those random highlights that just sort of goes all over the place before it finally settles down to what it's actually going to do. Mac an inch. Yeah, see, we are supposed to... Ah, oh, he's giving away a penalty. I'll tell you what, if any of you boys are on clean sheet bonuses, you are not helping yourselves, are you? I mean... Fair play to you for, you know, hurrying towards the ball. If you get anywhere near pulling this back, I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to demand more again. Okay. Now, White, who I was training as a defensive midfielder, that is poor. More, you are supposed to be playing really well. And that was not a good thing to do. Oh, my word. He probably could have let the keeper get that, in all honesty. He can use his hands, remember? And then he can just hold it, and we we don't have to worry about it. Just a thought. I mean, bear in mind. Okay, more. Mm. Have we had the highlight here? Because it's going on for a while, this. Farrell brings it down nicely. Quantrell. Oh, tipped wide. Presumably that was the highlight. Let's say it was. Um, yeah, we don't really score from corners. I don't know as there's a great deal of height in the side. Um, yeah, see, we have not been good so basically since we went five up, have we really? We have really just half arsed it since then. And I hate the fact that they do that so much in this game. You can't just go on and absolutely trounce someone unless they roll over and die completely. Skelly. Oh, that's a good save. Trust me, it was. I mean, well done, by the way, for anyone who is actually keeping track of the ball. It's not easy. I mean, it's going to be... You watch us get a really good cup run or something and draw someone like Celtic away or something, which will be an absolute pasting. But that ever happens. But... Um, uh, please tell me he's offside. Thank you, linesman. Thank you. Yep. It's been ruled out. Well, only because he was five yards offside, but, you know. Right, I'm going to demand more again because I'm not really happy with this second half performance, to be honest, boys. And I'm going to tell you I'm not happy with it. Possibly. Actually, uh, no, I'll probably... I suppose I should sweet talk them with my personable nature. Again, they are not closing down your centre-backs. You can pass it to them, you know. 
That way we don't just lose it instantly because you don't play it to anyone who can actually win it in the air. Just play it along the ground to a centre-back so we can pass it out. And it's not just you, Paris, because McCallum was doing it. Look, you've got two centre-backs here. I honest, honestly don't know why they continually do that. I am pretty sure they are supposed to do that. Because it was literally copied the tactic and then just some tweaks made to it. And that was not one of the tweaks. <sighs> so, yet again, left complaining after a 5-1 win. Okay, well, that was a good solid win. Um, I'm not sure when we'll be back. Because, as we've just seen, Scottish Cup games make it very difficult for you to follow the action. Um, which obviously I didn't know was the case before we played one. And I don't really want to show you Montrose again. Um, especially as we'll probably lose again. But, I mean, maybe we'll come through and I'll sort of work on uh, towards the end of December. I mean, home Stram Ra could be intriguing. They, of course, have beaten us. So we owe them. So maybe we'll come back around, around then. Thank you very much for joining me. Like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye for now.